Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen how this validation works um, and what are the validation points, why validation points are uh, important. Uh, in today's session, uh, we will uh, take a look at uh, how to integrate our robot tasks with Jenkins. So what I have done here is um, I went to Jenkins.io and I clicked on download since I'm using Windows machine. So I clicked on Windows and downloaded the the latest version. After downloading, uh, the installation is very straightforward. Uh, you have to click next, uh, next, next, and then the installation will be successful. Uh, once the installation is successful, then it will create a service on your machine. So you need to look for whether it has created Jenkins service under services and if it is running or not. Okay, so once the installation is successful and it is running, then you can go to Jenkins um, localhost and 8080. This is where you can access Jenkins. Since it is installed on my local host and uh, the port is 8080, so you provide local host and 8080 and Jenkins page should load. The next thing which I did was uh, I went to manage Jenkins and manage plugins. So by default, uh, there won't be any plugins installed. We need to have some plugins installed. These are all my plugins installed. These are all installed by default, uh, even though I didn't select it, but I selected PowerShell plugin. And after selecting this, I installed it and you can see all the plugins here, which gets installed by default. Okay, once the installation is successful, then we go back to Jenkins homepage and we start creating a new job. Okay, let's click on the create new jobs so here I will add robot demo and select freestyle project click on OK and there are a few tabs here source code management build triggers build and post build actions the first thing is, um, since my source code is not on GitHub, um, so I'm not going to use uh, source code management and build triggers. So I'll directly go to build. So inside this build, uh, once you have all the plugins installed, default plugins, then you should be getting execute Windows batch command. So what this will do is, this will create a batch file and then run that batch file and this will execute shell so this is for the mac and this is the one which i specifically created which is uh, windows powershell so for now we are going to use execute windows batch command so this is just like the the command you are going to provide under command prompt to run the robot file okay so it is like opening a command prompt and the next thing is we go to this folder. So how do we go to this folder? By changing the directory. And the command which we run is robot and the file name. File name dot robot. So the same thing which we are going to do in Jenkins. First thing is CD. Okay, 
that's the first command and then the second command would be robot and the file which we are interested to run is validate dot robot file okay so which is validate dot robot file okay so since we changed something in the last test so I'm going to revert it back to the original one and that's it so we can save once we save we can build now click on build now they started building let's see okay now these two test cases are from validate which is this robot file and uh, both of them passed so now we are not running it locally we are running through Jenkins using that command but as you can see as you can see the log file is still pointed to the local machine or the host machine okay now I don't want to have the log file in the local machine I want to see it in Jenkins so how do I do it so again go back to your project and then configure there is something called post build actions so now it has built successfully now there is something called post build actions so we can set up something in post build action so here again this is managed by the plugins the plugin which we wanted to have is not installed at this point of time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go back to um, manage Jenkins again and manage plugins and uh, select available or you can search for robot here okay so there is a robot framework plugin available what this does is this publisher stores robot framework test reports and builds and shows summaries of them in project and build views so what this basically does is it shows the summary as well as it stores the test reports the test reports are the one which we are interested in so we can go ahead and install this plugin and it is trying to install now okay it has installed that plugin now we go back to Jenkins again and we go to robot demo project and we go to configure again we go to post build actions okay now you can see there is publish robot framework test results okay after installing that plugin you should get this option okay let me select this and I'm not going to use the threshold for the time being so this is to say you know um, overall if you're running multiple uh, speeds then to say pass or fail so you can put in a threshold here so for time being I'm not going to use it and here a directory of a robot output is output file is in this directory C users so this is the the directory okay so this is the directory where the output gets stored click on apply and save okay so as soon as I added now uh, we can see that there is a, a robot results 
here if i click on this there's no robot results yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build it again a fresh build okay and if i click on that and go to console output and it is building now okay so there's one test case which failed um, we need to see why however the purpose of this was to see the log file let us go back to the project and click on robot results so now you can see it is having this robot results and it has provided nice trend graph and the duration so it gives you a lot of information on this particular page now all of these are available inside jenkins so let us go to log html file if you get this error then this is already raised as a bug in jenkins and there is a workaround for it for now jenkins is blocking this because of the security reason there are some workarounds which are given in a wiki page for jenkins so what we will do is we will go to this link which says jenkins configuring content security policy okay so here what we do is there are some alternatives which are provided the one which i'm interested here is i'm going to unset the header so i'm going to make use of this so how do we run this particular script so what it says is uh, changes to the system property will affect immediately so it is possible to set this system property temporarily so this is a temporary solution and this can be done via jenkins script console okay so let me go back to jenkins so i let me copy this and go back to jenkins and go back to jenkins home page manage jenkins and there is a script console here click on script console and then paste this click on run there is no error message here if this particular script didn't execute correctly then you will get some error here so for now there is no error so we go back to jenkins and then go to robo demo again and we will start building again so let's build one more time okay and this is the third one let's see the console okay so now the the test case is passed back to dashboard and now let's go back to open report html now you can see the the report html as well as the log file okay the, now the log files can be viewed through jenkins okay and that plugin provide provided us a lot of information here uh, it also provides you know uh, the trends for all the uh, tests so build one build two build three and how many passed and how many failed okay and if you go to browser results again the same trend which appeared on that particular project and the results the latest results are available here okay so this is how we can make use of jenkins to run a robot test cases that is the end of this session thanks for watching if you have any comments suggestions please post it under comment section under the video i will see you in the next video